I could tell you everything. I could describe the injuries to her body. I could tell you how soon after she died she was found. I could tell you how much blood she lost. I could tell you where she was and what she was doing, but it wouldn't be true. My family was angry. My mother and father divorced, which I felt good about because the thing was, life didn't just go on. It was the best thing they could have done for her to break apart and themselves up, not to stay together and destroy each other. Almost right away after she died, I moved into my own place. It was dirty, rusted, and smelled awful, but it was cheap enough for my dad to buy for me and it had power and running water. Whenever I got a bill, I sent it to my dad to a post box across the road, and I guess he paid it because I never had anyone knocking at my door about it. I lived inside myself for a long time. I used the drugs to stop myself doing anything and I spent my time alternating between watching the TV, listening to the radio and sleeping. The radio was great. If I wanted something loud that would just totally numb me, I put on some pop music. If I was feeling kind of down, I put on some classical. Toward the end, I didn't even send the bills. I just let them sit there. At this stage, what had happened was a dull face was like, I couldn't even remember it. At least not as essential detail to tell a friend or something. When the drugs ran out, I left the house with nothing and I walked along the streets in a way I hadn't done for so long. At least at two points it was really great, but mostly I looked at the concrete and didn't care too much about anything. But in a weird way, I felt better about having left the house. I walked for a long time until I headed over to the pavement. I saw a bin with a paper inside it. On the front page was a story I had heard about on the radio, which was kind of surreal. I laid down at this point and fell asleep. When I awoke, the sun was just about to rise. I could feel it. I rolled around a bit. When the space around me started to fill the full with the light increasing and cars zooming by, it kept walking, and I felt like I needed a place away from the sun and away from people. I saw an open door and I walked inside. It was a hallway with brightly painted walls that I walked through. I opened the door and I entered and I was in a blue room with desks and computers. Someone was sitting on one of them. I saw her and I walked over and I felt in my chest something that was so hollow before it would come so full. She turned around and tears filled my eyes. I stepped down and I wept. I heard a chair slide out and I heard her footsteps and it was a while before I looked up and saw her above me. She looked at me and she asked who I was. 